Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough, and at last Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Which I guess we'll hear another time. Yeah, I didn't want to go on land yet, because... I was... From too early. Worried. That he would stop the story. Uh -oh. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Huh. A lot of random favors on this lake. It's like that's dropping lower and lower, ironically. Good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Here we go. Ho ho. He's stun it. Oh. Apparently, it doesn't care at all about that. Is this a dark guy? What? Oh, would it be here? Yeah, that's a dark elf, alright. At it. Oh yeah, it definitely does not care at all about getting stunned. I can freeze it. Different story. Ooh. Now I can ride it. Is there right here? Right? Yep. He's full out lasting. Still talking about his gold egg. Symbol of Shadows. 
Interesting. I wonder if that's from the Dark Elf? No, no, I take that back. It's uh it's gotta be from the troll. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of the air spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason struck his son. Harimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. We'll see. Actually, I could do a little pause here. I gotta check something. Alright, sorry about that pause. Just wanted to make sure it was still uh, solidly recording. Something didn't seem right, so I had to double check and make sure it wasn't a corrupted recording. So that way I can go back and redo this if I had to. Thankfully not. Four killed him. Oh no. He fell in a village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one, but truth is, the sweaty ballbag just got lucky. Man, it's so icy over here, too. New location found. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Over. Ah, it's stunned. Good. Or was. Let's see this animation. Oh, it's not really dead yet. Okay. Oh, another. Stun it. And these things are actually tough. Gotta give it credit. Didn't necessarily need for the rage, but yes. A very, very giant chisel. What's up with the ring? Oh. Darn. That didn't seem to do anything. We will grab that in a moment. Like that crystal's running again. Another chamber. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. Surprisingly, he's not telling me what I need to open it. Unless he doesn't know right now, actually. Do I have to pull this? Out or all right, what's that do? Nothing. Let's go to the right then. Oh, you know what? 
know what? Okay, well, that's what you gotta do. Thanks. His idea. That makes sense, then. I was wondering what the explosion would have to do with anything. After being dropped. I like the variety. We're kind of traveling quite a bit, but also not really. Just because a lot of the places are in Midgard or around. Wait, is that not close enough? There we go. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. So that's why it's frozen up here. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, I dropped down here though, so... Where do we go? Where do we go? Nope, that doesn't do anything. Mm. Oh! A spot to climb up here. Good. There's gonna be Draugr here somewhere. To be expected. Don't wanna miss out on the opportunity for loot. Defensive armor. So wait, since he was a giant, won't the chisel be massive? There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Wait, was that chisel rammed through him? Well, what's the plan? And I'll find light crystal. All oh, that upgrade for the spinning attack after dodging, really helpful. Gotta say. I should use that more. That's some awesome damage. I think it's only for the kill, so. Just gonna use it for like a finishing blow. Dang it. Doesn't want to sit still. Thankfully, it didn't matter. Well, I'm gonna have to do. That's Andy. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to do uh, better at avoiding damage from them, though. And got some more loot in there, so. Nice, more gear. I'll probably keep and not sell a lot of the gear if there's a way to um, get more money. Sir. To Njord, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. Huh. 
I think that's a crystal. So that didn't do anything. Ooh, the sap. I could throw that up there and charge it. That's probably why. Hopefully it works. Yeah. Cool. Now. Where was that little pedestal at? Was it over there? No. Not right there. <laughs> yeah, I think this is one of the coolest areas, actually, because we're actually going around a giant's remains. Wait, what's this? Woo. Dust of realms. Formless substance found inside realm tier realm tears. Used to enhance unique properties of various talisman. Close realm tears. Five, ten, eighteen. Wait, what? I have curiosity. doesn't work that way. Oh wait, I have to charge it again. Ah, of course it doesn't work that way. Just hoping I get lucky and cheat the system a little bit. Not at all. So that's where we need to go. But... We are going to try to get that. Ah, uh, what are? Oh, I get the. I guess that one's correct. I see. Since it's only one, you have to go the direction that you want to spin it. Clever. Then the one that almost looks like a backwards three. What's this one do? The next one, too. No, it's not. One more time here. What? Oh. That was the backwards one, though, not the forward. Or I should say, um, uh, facing left, not facing right. Ooh, Mark of the Ranger. Increases damage of all axe throws by 6%. I forget, do I have to equip that? No, it doesn't look like it. Which is good, because that just gives me incentive to go and grab them. Because I don't need to take up any sockets. Just having them will do me good. 
Oh. Frost nightmares? Head of Thumor. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right. Oh, didn't mean to do a cleave attack, but works. Thank you, Atreus. Just gotta keep rolling. Biggest thing for the combat, if you notice. That as well as if you can juggle him. There's one all the way over there. And there's more, of course. Another giant oak. What's up with that? Actually, be a challenge. Oh, oh well, the house all almost halfway down. Well, pass now, but. Progress. Can we use it to attack the other one? has used this kind of stuff in his previous life. But little does he know. Talk to Sindri. Atreus, to me! I'm coming, I'm coming! I don't know what Sindri's got to say. Wow, that was uh, something that the uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so 
it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Hmm. So I guess more marks of the dwarves makes it better? Don't see necessarily how, but okay. Well, actually, do we have better gear than this yet? Yes, but this is the most balanced where these are not so much mm. either minus eight defense plus two oh that one does give defense well let's go with the better one then here we go. Um. Uh, vitality, runic defense, 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 vitality. Hmm. Oh, okay, so these are... Okay, so these do go into sockets. Good to know. Uh, high perk activation chance to grant a health burst on a successful parody. Parry. Cool. Then we'll do this one here. Just have a socket. One sock of this. Go ahead and throw that on instead. And we'll leave that because that's all we got. And that one's of course better. Cool. I can't believe I missed those. Poor Fafnir. There's a fine line between ambition and greed, you know. So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we hmm. move forward? So does well, that actually? I really like jewelry, didn't he? Even ah! his beard I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow-covered corpse. I might see what he's planning, but 